So we still have not found our last, our last debt, rather, but we have found Bill. Bill the drunk. Come on, man, I'm dying here. No, you're not. I'll decide when you're dying. You won't be seeing Dixon anymore. What the hell? Why? I need alcohol, man. No, you I'm don't. I'm gonna die if I don't get a drink. You need to kick the habit, Bill. I can help you. The only way you can help me now is a load of detox cams. No, no. What do you need? At least a couple of doses of Fixer, a, a bottle of whiskey, and Radaway. I can take doses of Fixer and Radaway to gradually flush my system over time while drinking decreasing shots of diluted whiskey. This shit better be worth it, man. Regulating a decreasing dose of booze with a cup of shot of Fixer should do it. Man, you're one hell of an egghead. Yes, I am. If you I think am. it'll work, I'll give it a shot. Uh, Julie? Julie? Uh, I love Julie. She's such a nice lady. I agree. One time I was working on the water pump, and she came over, put her hand on my shoulder, and told me I was doing a great job. <laughs> great job, she says. I just choked up and didn't say nothing. Compliments are so rare these days. Are they? Huh, well, I will return there once I can get a pep talk for you, Curry. So, ten points in speech. So that'll be my next investment. Much is clear. Now, let's see. We need to find that crank fellow. Hmm. The person is a ghoul. Maybe, uh, of the hobos knows about him. Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. Once the job is complete, madam. I am a man who sticks to his it work. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. What was I doing actually? Oh yes, vengeance. That's the future girl. Uh, let's uh, have a talk with those kingsmen that just woke up. One of you all oh, speak like a king like this. Here he is. Is this them? Hello. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my no, friend here? No, I just see your neck. King asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, start by turning around and facing me. What can you tell me about this attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a mm. local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. You know the kid what? got the worst of it, sad to say. Staring at the back of your head like this, I want to, like, drum on your bald head. I really do. Remember anything about these people who attacked you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. Okay. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I, I hope him. you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Right. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. You have a very odd use of your arm. Hello, Mr. Wayne. That true? Did the king really send you? Yes, he did. I think you could help uh, just answer my questions. I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? You're not hiding something from me, are you? What? No. I thought you were supposed to be here to help, and here you are making accusations. Hey, wait. I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it See? when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant. That's what he called him. Lou Tenant. 
He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy that means a well, military. He's dumb as a mutant sometimes. That means a military. That's fascinating. Guess we won't be waking him up. He just claimed your bet. You sort it out then. Lieutenant, that's that's very interesting. Might need to have a word with the uh, NCR soldiers around here. That's not proper behavior for a military man. If you stomp someone, you do it properly. In your first show, come at me, bro. Then you stomp. What was I? Oh yes, we are looking for Mr. Rotface. Such a mean name. He should take a better one. Mr. Uh, I don't know. What skin like? Dermo, Dermo. Mr. Dermo! That actually works. Mr. Dermo. Kind of sounds like Elmo. It's cute. Hello, vagrant. <laughs> you're worthless. Less than worthless. You're a nuisance, actually. Bang, 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 bang. Dixon. Favorite customer. Aha! Got a cap for me? Uh, yeah, sure, here you go. Caught a rumor the other day that some of the clientele over at the Wrangler have been making some rather strange requests. Stuff like weirdos wanting the <clears throat> services of ghouls and such. Oh, well, I almost want have half a mind to volunteer myself. Sexy beast that I am. You should! That You're one suit. was pretty good, right? How about another? Uh, no, thank you. I don't think you can help me. I understand. Well, have a good day. But you go see the Wrangler. I think you'll do good. Hmm. Uh, how could we find this, uh... Hey. Spill runner. You kids are crazy. Stacy is oh, fleeing. Uh, Cowards. Cowardly kids. That's no way for a warrior to grow. I hope the kid at least runs after her with a club. And they, they learn things about traditional mating rituals and such. It's good. Hey. There's someone there. And look! I think it's Sir Ghoul. Hey man, can you spare a few caps? You look an awfully lot worse than uh, Mr. Rotface, so. Are you Greggs? Who owes money to the guards? That all depends on who's asking. The older guards a good lump of caps, and I'm here to collect. Ah, crap. I was hoping they'd forget about my tab. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. Honestly, I, I, I really would, can't figure out like how I would hurt you. You mean your face. Your face must be tired. walk away. Cover the rest. Oh yes. He's not paying us everything, I believe. You don't cheat the guards and walk away. Cover up the rest or you're rat bait. Okay. Here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. Right, that'll do. That's with the guards again and you're dead. I won't. Thanks for not killing me. Uh, yeah, sure. Honestly, if I looked like that, I might consider having me let me kill me. Dear Lord. 
That's a bad case, that's one bad case. Ah. Oh, sorry, kid! Oh, he seems to take it rather well. That's a tough kid! Maybe I was mistaken. Ah. You stupid rat, die! <laughs> gotcha! Clearing out the streets. I'm a good man. We've got stuff so well with uh, the debt collected. Time to head to that atomic wrangler. Hi. Who said hi? Oh, the kid. The kid that I cut with my machete and who apparently was not uh, bothered by it. Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? All of the above! The wrangler has you covered. Hello, Mrs. Garrett. Welcome back. Or Miss Garrett. What can I get you? I'm not quite sure. I think I've all the debts collected. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey uh. stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No uh. one steals from the Garrett twins. If you oh. can kill that bastard and bring Probably back as much as you stuff. can, you'll be paid very well. Ugh. Bounty hunting the bounty hunter. I like it. How am I supposed to get to the strip? See the king. I'm sure he could work something out to get you in. You'll need to prove you're worth his time, but it'll be well worth it. Oh, I'm already arranging that. If I see McCaffrey, blah, 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 on the strip, I'll take care of him. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Bring his hat as proof of the kill. Can't I keep the hat? It probably is an awesome hat. By the way, the Fawes are looking for someone to trade supplies with. Interesting. Well, you're going to need to speak with my brother, James. He handles all of the trading contracts and general operations. Okay, then. Uh Well goodbye. Bye. Wonder how the show will be. Putting the blade away. Yes. Well Talk, damn it! Right, you're worthless. Second treatment of bloody comedian. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? I do see the resemblance. How's business? We ain't scraping to get by, if that's what you're asking. Good, good, good. Do you maybe have any work that needs to be done? We've got the basics covered, but... Now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. Oh. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay your finder's fees. Oh. What sort of proclivities are we talking about? Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. I think I have Plenty someone of customers in mind. have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker. Someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. Well, that's Did awesome. I want one. Sex bot? Not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. I want a, uh, want a, uh, a sex bot. I'm gonna make a factory of sex bots! It will be glorious. All shapes and sizes. Oh, Chrome. I'll expect 100 caps minimum for each candidate I bring in. That's negotiation. Just don't here. rough up the merchandise before delivery. You break it, you bought it. Obviously. 
Surely these escorts are critical to your business, and currently I find your selection rather lacking. How about double? Okay, you got yourself a deal. Find <laughs> escorts to fill the positions, and I'll pay double. See if I can run into any suitable candidates. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. My, my, I am a, a deal maker here. Any idea why I should look for a sex bot? The best place to start would be with Ralph, at Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. All right. Hmm. Followers need to find someone to trade with for supplies. Really now? Well, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Well, Getting yes, our customers and... drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, mm. the extra alcohol yes. can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. I might be able to work something out. Good. We can supply them with all the med they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. Hmm. I'll see what I can uh, talk over. Goodbye. Till next time. So, more deals in the working. Aren't I the negotiator? To Mick and Ralph's, eh? Actually, let's uh, go to. Uh, I have some other lasers, ideas. plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all. Yeah, I don't think you're the boyfriend experience. Usually, when the uh, boyfriend and girlfriend talk about guns, they are talking about other types of guns, not really energy weapons, I believe. At least, when I showed her my laser rifle, they were she ran very scared. Coward. Oh, well, oh yes, old Ben. Hello you again. Look like a cheerful guy. How would you like to work for the Garrets? I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Uh, James Garrett needs a real boyfriend experience type of person for his turn and patrons. Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing? I also I got out of that really work because it just this. made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? Uh, pay is good and you can make your own hours? Sorry, friend, but I just can't do it. Huh. All right, never mind. Right. We'll talk about that later. Yep. I need to work on my speechcraft, really. With all this weaving and teething, we'll get the experience soon to handle it. Uh, empty street still makes the, the air rain sirens ring in my ears. Or maybe I should just clean up sometimes. That might help. Lasers, plasma, pistols. Shut up. See you, uh, Mick and Ralph's then. What? Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Yes, I am on my way, kid. Stop shouting it in my ears. I already have air, air raid sirens in my ears. That's enough. Knowing children don't add to the experience. Not positively, anyway. Ooh. Yes, run away from him. He's a wretch. Bang, 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 bang. Whoa! What? 
Yeah, forget it. What's happening? Why is everyone scared? If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supplies. Hmm. Do you offer any other services, Mayup? I only offer services if the King gives the okay. Impress him and we can talk. Oh, Alright. Hmm, and now, who's king? That's a stupid like question. Step we really back need if to you need on that speech. No, 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 I, I wanted to ask other things. Playing debt collector for the Garrets, huh? I guess someone has to do the dirty work. Uh, it was it was really not that dirty. Just a few, few little left taps here and there. Would you happen to know where I could find a sex bot? <laughs> are you some kind of machine fetishist or yep. something? Yep. Uh, and the guards are looking to satisfy certain customers, namely me. <laughs> well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. That place has been overrun by vermin for years. If you want to check the place out, yes. you can find it on the west side of Freeside. Oh, all right. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Good, Just good. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Yeah. Uh, sex balls. I do like to feel like... I need so hard, hard steel on my heart, you know? Uh, is there a hold of tape or anything I need for the sex bot? Well, I don't know of any, but if you give me a few days and some caps, I think I could probably make one on my terminal. Hmm. Well, if I've been a loyal customer to you and Mick, I've been tempted to buy many times. How about 100 caps? All right. Come back in a couple days, and I should have it ready for you. Excellent. Uh, also, the Fars would like to set up some supply deals. We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the Atomic Wrangler. They've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain alcohol, which could be used as anesthetic or disinfectant. Yes, well, that's great, but, uh... If you want to, you know, fix her and that type of stuff. All right, goodbye. Thanks for stopping in. Is this Mick? Hello, Welcome Mick. to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general <laughs> supplies and other services, need see guns. my partner Ralph. How's business? Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we did buy. Good selection from traders, and the Van Graffs keep things running. What's the deal with the Omertas? That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. No. If you hear anything, let me know. I'll keep my ear open then. Will do. Anything else I can help you with? Hmm. Farmers are looking to work out some supply deals. Are they looking to buy guns? Not that I'm aware of. They're stupid like that. Then talk to my partner, Ralph. And do you have uh, you have any special items for sale? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? Uh, no. In that case, yes, I do. Follow me. Ooh. <laughs> like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. Wow, your eyes look really creepy there. Do you have lots and lots of bullets? Desperado cowboy hat, that's nice. Grenade machine guns! Oh yes, I'm buying that later. More power fists. Might be something for uh, for Veronica. Two uh, power fists on her hands it would be great. A lot of cowboy hats. Like so shotguns, silence, razors. Honestly, not that impressed, but the grenade launcher, those are great. I am going to. Uh, ow. Make use of that.
So I guess uh, we'll do some vermin extermination next time. Like we killed one rat, but that was not enough. Time to get some more. At least I think it'll be rats. Maybe it's giant bugs or something. No free. All this wheeling and dealing will improve my my speech. Come a to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Come to Lord Dyer to teach you to shut up, kid. <laughs> so I think it should be somewhere over here. Is this the building? Who's there? This is a creepy place. Way too quiet. Blowing up would do it some good. Well, I can't find it. Hopefully I'll find it next time. Till then.